আসসালামু আলাইকুম ও রহমতুল্লাহ সবারকাতু ডিয়ার ভিউয়ার্স আপনাদের সবাইকে স্বাগত আমার বেসিক পাইপিং এন্ড ওয়াইল্ডিং কোর্স ক্লাসে সো ওয়েলকাম টু অল অফ ইউ ইন বেসিক পাইপিং এন্ড ওয়াইল্ডিং কোর্স ক্লাস অ্যাকচুয়ালি দিস কোর্স লেকচার প্রিপেয়ার্ড বাই মাই সেলফ অ্যান্ড ইউ ক্যান ওয়াচ ফ্রম ওয়াচ অ্যান্ড লার্ন ফেসবুক পেজ অ্যান্ড ইউটিউব চ্যানেল নূর মোহাম্মদ সো টুডে উই আর গোয়িং টু বি স্টার্ট লেকচার এইচ so in this lecture also you will uh, try to explain you something about the flange and type of flanges including their code and standards previously i have uploaded uh, related to same topics uh, lecture 6 and 7 so if you have any questions about the lecture 6 and 7 then you can uh, ask me in uh, comment section so all these lectures uh, you can uh, watch from watch and learn facebook page and my youtube channel nur muhammad so if you are new in my uh, course you can visit my facebook page and youtube channel to get the previous lectures so previously i have uploaded lecture 1 to uh, 7 so uh, i hope you will give your uh, valuable comments and feedbacks then i will uh, try to do uh, something is uh, better so if you are new in my youtube channel then you can subscribe my uh, youtube channel to get the latest uh, lectures and then i will uh, request to you you invite your friends also so today we are uh, going to be discuss the description of lunges so let's see what we have uh, today lectures so today we will discuss about the left joint flanges is the first so we see the left joint flanges so the left joint flanges are used with uh, stubbins when piping is of a costly material so if piping is the costly material then uh, you can use the left joint type of flanges maybe flange is the cheap material flanges but uh, actual pipe material is very costly so stub in always will be used with the left joint flanges as a baking flange so this flange connection are applied in low pressure and non critical application so you need to remind it this type of flange we use for the low pressure piping and non critical piping and is a cheap method of flanging so this is a called the cheap method of flanging also so in a stainless steel or copper nickel pipe system for example a carbon steel flange can be applied so if your piping is the stainless steel or copper, copper nickel so compared to copper nickel and stainless steel is the carbon steel is the cheaper so if your main pipe is the stainless steel or copper nickel then you can use the carbon steel flanges also if the left uh, lab, lab joint type flanges because they are not come in contact with the product in the pipe so another thing is the dimensions and dimensional tolerance for this type of flanges dimension and dimensional tolerance are defined in ASME B16.9 standard lightweight corrosion resistant stand units fittings are defined in MSS SP43 so the inset radius of these flanges is chamfered to clear the step in radius so let's see what is the look like is the left joint flanges so you see here this is the step ends and this is the uh, flanges so this totally considered as a left joint uh, flange so you see the right side is the photo so this is the left joint flange and this is the stub end so both is the equally the left joint flange so you can see the photos from here so number one we see what is the figure this uh, number mentioned so number one is the left joint flanges flange then number two is the stub end number three is the bar joint so pipe 2 the system its joint configuration will be the bar twelve. so number 4 is the pipe or fitting so here can be fittings also so the step ends will be bar twelved to the piping and flange are keep loose over the same so when uh, the pipe inside you will put this uh, flanges so step ends and pipe or fittings will be the bar twelved and this flange will be the loose flange so you can see here this picture this is the loose flange so after continue connection this flange already fixed inside the pipe you cannot uh, remove these flanges if uh, another side also the welding completed same category of flange so this flange is the loose loose uh, part of the flange 
so joint type mentioned in drawing pipe or fittings to stub in bar joint so this the you can see the welding here is the bar joint so left joint flanges dimension if you see the flanges dimension here the what is, you see here the chamfered and chamfered and all the things are is the radius before I say that this is the chamfered and radius make the smooth so this all the dimensions for more details uh, I will uh, request to you you refer to the SPB 16.5 table 62 table 22 and dimension and standard tolerance are defined in the ASME B16.9 standard so lightweight corrosion resistant stub in fittings are defined in ASME uh, defined in MSS SP43 so these all the standards if you go through then you will be able to the understand more details about that is all the dimension tolerance and everything actually basically my lectures I prepared I try to give you some reference because my uh, I want to give you the some basic information and I will try to give you the some reference if you are the more interested you can visit this the all the reference and you, are, you will be able to understand you you can learn the so many things from the standard <coughs> so for big diameter flanges refer as me B16.47 so previously I first lecture I tell you as me B16.5 covered until uh, 24 inches uh, flanges and from 26 to 16 inches uh, flanges you need to refer as me B16.47 so wherever you see the flange size is bigger then you need to refer the as me B16.47 so another type of flange is the blind flange so I we see how is the look like the blind flange and what is the function of blind flange so blind flange are manufactured without a bore and used to blank of the end of pipe so blind flange normally uh, manufacture or this is the making without bore here don't have any hole or bore so this is the purpose of uh, blinding the end of the pipe so if you need to blind any uh, pipeline or if you want to go for testing the pipeline we need to blind the both side or so many uh, location so then only we can do the testing or testing so this type of uh, flange use for the blinding uh, blind so you see in this figure so number one is the blind flange for then if you want to use this flange then also you need the two flange one is the blind flange and this is the pipe flange then you need to use the gasket in between otherwise will be the leak then you need to use the start you can use the start board or hexagonal uh, board and you need to use the nut so number one is the blind flange then you see number two start bolt then number three the gasket so you see from this few photos is the gasket and number uh, four is the other flanges so you need the two flanges to the connects initially the f uh, first lecture I already show you how we connect the uh, flange <coughs> so for the flange flange there is the no welding joint so this flange uh, actually don't have any welding joint normally connected with flange to flange so joint type in mention in drawing FL so if you see the FL then you will be able to understand the joint is the flange to flange connection so you see this is the dimension of the blind flange so this is the OD and thickness so for this you need to refer also same the standard ASME B16.5 table 6222 and ASME B16.47 for big bore diameter so that one was the blunt flange so that's all then uh, we go for the reducing flange another type of flange is the reducing type flange we see the reducing type of flange the reducing flanges are used to connect between larger and smaller sizes without using a reducer so if you want to connect the two pipeline maybe one side is the larger pipe one side is smaller pipe so normally we use the reducer but in this case if you use the uh, reducing type flange then we need to use the reducer so this is the one uh, com uh, combined flange the reducer flange so you see here the flange this look like it is the flange uh, reducing flange so this is the figure for the reducing flange you see this is the reducer but this is not the actually reducer this is the uh, considered as a reducer fl uh, reducing flange 
so refer ask me b16.5 and ask me b ask me b16.47 for the details then integral flange so integral flange are cast along with the nozzle neck or the vessel or pipe wall but welded or attached by other forms of arc or gas welding so second thing is the integral flange which is also called long uh, well neck flange so integral grill flange uh, we can call the long well neck flange also is used for high pressure situation integral hub well neck flanges are used and for very high pressure cases long welding neck flanges are preferred in this case the weld are far from the ring to avoid bending stress and weld stress being combined so you can see in photos this is the integral flange so from the flange ring or flange uh, phase 2 the uh, this uh, welding location is very far so this is the purpose of uh, uh, during the operation time the ever the bending stress or uh, weld stress being combined so if we have the too much stress and if the welding location is very far then we can say yes there will be stress will be very less and the if welding is here then here is the vibration or something then uh, weld area will be the more stress so to avoid the here more stress so this welding they do the very far away so this the type of flange is normally used for the high pressure situations so for these uh, details you can uh, visit the ASME B16.5 and ASME B16.47 for the details. Basically I try to uh, give you the some information and uh, some reference standard. So if you have the more interested to know the uh, know the know about the piping or anything then you need to go and go through the all the standards. Because the standards they, they are the they uh, I mentioned the so many things so basically we actually don't know where you have this standard or where is the standard so this is the purpose I show you that I try to share with you the basic information then I refer to you the standards so thanks to all who watching the full videos and if you think uh, this is the useful for you and useful for your friends I will request to you please like and uh, comments and follow my Facebook page and suggest your friends to follow my Facebook page and subscribe my YouTube channel to get the latest uh, lectures. Your uh, inspiration uh, will be make me the stronger and uh, and I can do the something if you inspire me. So thanks to all uh, to watching. Uh, so thanks to all uh, to watching this uh, lectures if any questions you can ask in comment section your comments and feedback will be uh, make uh, energetic uh, to me to go to the next lectures and I will try to share with you some basic information so in this basic information if you think any information is misinformation or wrong information please uh, let me know in comment section I will try to learn myself and I will try to share the correct information with all of you so thanks to all for watching uh, see you soon in next lecture assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh